I was a young girl, I always had a desire to go on mission trips. Missionaries would visit our little church and show pictures of people from all over the world. It was like they were speaking right to my very soul. Something within me was saying, I want to go there. I want to meet those people and help them. Nowadays our family has grown and that desire that I had when I was young has grown too and has spread to the next generation of the LaFontaine family. If you know anything about our family, you know that we're pretty musical folks. From mom and pop LaFontaine to the youngest grandchild, we all love to sing and make music. Early on, we were taught that God gives you a gift, like music for instance, not only for your own personal enjoyment and employment, but God gives you a gift to edify the body of Christ and to glorify Him. Ministry has played a leading role in our lives. Using our gift of music, we continue to create, write, teach, and minister because that's what God has called us to do. Over the years, God has allowed us to travel all over the world, speaking and singing to churches, camps, and conventions. One of the churches we visited as children was in Ontario, Canada, where Brother Ray Maddox and his family were pastoring. In the early 1980s, the Maddox family became missionaries to the Philippines and were the first to introduce our music to that part of the world. If you know anything about the Filipino people, you know that they are true lovers of music which makes the Philippines a perfect fit for the LaFontaine family mission. In 2006, we visited the Philippines and were shocked when almost 3,000 people showed up to hear us sing. We were even more surprised that they knew the words to all of our songs and sang along, making it more like a worship service than a concert. With the help of our friends and family here in the U.S. and all who supported our trip in 2006, we were able to meet many needs of God's people in the Philippines. Dozens of keyboards, guitars, drum sets, and computers were just a few of the things churches received as a result of your generous donations. In addition to the instruments we gave, we encountered a church that had been destroyed by a storm. With your help, we were able to build them a new church stronger than the last. We also had the privilege to teach a music conference to church musicians in Manila, which took place at a local school. We had planned for around 40 students but more than 200 showed up for the classes. Since we weren't expecting so many people, I asked the administrator of the school if they had any pencils or paper we could use. I assured them that we would replace them later, but the answer was no. Not because they didn't want to loan them to us, but because they didn't have any. Here was a school that was teaching students from first grade to high school and they didn't even have the basic needs like paper and pencils. Similarly, we encountered gifted and talented musicians and singers that didn't even have the basic needs to cultivate their gifts. They were true artists without tools. By the end of our trip in 2006, we were able to purchase many musical instruments for those musicians, giving them the tools they need to cultivate their own amazing potential. Since 2006, several typhoons and tropical storms have ripped through the country, and we have tried our best to raise awareness and send support whenever the needs have arisen. The Filipino Organization of Toledo partnered with us in 2013 to organize a benefit concert when Super Typhoon Haiyan destroyed and flooded much of Manila. They've not only had to rebuild their homes and towns on more than one occasion, but many of them have mourned the loss of loved ones. They are resilient, wonderful, and caring people who truly deserve our respect and support. The exciting news is that this year the LaFontaines are going back, and this time the next generation is getting in on the blessing. This November there will be eight of us that will be making the 36-hour flight. Along with myself, the lineup includes Henry and Sharon Van Wyk, their daughter Vanessa, Ike LaFontaine and his daughter Nora, my Aunt Sherry, and my dad Paul LaFontaine. Many of you have asked what can you do to help. First and foremost, we need your prayers. Secondly, please consider supporting this mission financially. Even a little donation goes a long way, and those who give so that others may go are just as important as those who go. Ask yourselves when it comes to missions, who am I? The one who goes or the one who sends? Donate at LaFontaineMusic.com or send your check or money order to Fountain Music P.O. Box 352-366, Toledo, Ohio, 
43635. That's Fountain Music P.O. Box 352-366, Toledo, Ohio 43635. Recently, we had the opportunity to sit down with Brother Roel Soriano from Manila so that we could get a first-hand account of the current needs in the Philippines. Although the needs are great, we are excited to see what God has in store. We believe that music can be used as the bait on the hook to attract hungry hearts to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In addition to all the singing and teaching and ministering that we're going to be doing while we're there, we would love to once again provide musical instruments for the churches and the students there in the Philippines. But that's entirely up to the donations that you provide for the trip. So give generously. For more information, visit LaFontaineMusic.com. That's LaFontaineMusic.com. Or send your donation to P.O. Box 352 366 Toledo, Ohio 43635.